Hi, welcome to Three Things Thursday with Robert Hertel. So this week, I want to go back to the Mike Ferry Superstar Retreat in Vegas a few weeks ago. Again, absolutely amazing event, learned quite a lot. I did a video a couple weeks ago about some of the quotes and statements that were made at the event from Mike himself that really resonated with me, that really made a powerful impact, and I shared them with you because I think if you implemented some of those things, you could really increase your business, change your mindset, change your life. So go back, watch that video, look at those five points I mentioned. I know it's three things Thursday, but I mentioned five points in that one that were really powerful. So this week, I want to continue on the Mike Ferry Superstar Retreat, okay? Now I get it, it was a few weeks ago, but here's the thing. It's good to always refresh and go over your notes from that retreat so it stays impactful with you. And you should be doing the same thing too. You should be going over your notes from that retreat and think about, am I implementing anything from that? Or if I am, what am I implementing? How is it working? What else can I now implement in there? Okay, slowly but surely you start implementing more things, but you can't do that if you don't go over your notes and remember what exactly you took notes on, all right? So this week what I wanna get into is something a little bit different about the retreat because it's nothing that Mike said, okay, or any of the other presenters up there, but one of the great things about going to these retreats is the people you meet. You're in a room with 4,000 people and some of them are making over a million dollars a year in real estate. I mean, like a lot of them are making over a million dollars a year in real estate, okay? And they've been doing it for years, very successful people, and you get to talk to them, pick their brain, ask questions, see a little bit of what they're doing, look at their mannerisms, how they talk to people, how they approach people, and things like that, and pick up on that. Because for most of us, if we could emulate a little of what they're doing, we'd be pretty happy with that, right? You know, someone's closing 200 deals a year in most of our markets, especially here in Southern California, if we could close 20, 25, 30, we'd be pretty happy, right? Now, some of us are also closing 50, 60, so on and so forth, but for most people, that'd be pretty good if you could just close a little bit of what they're doing. So, one of the things I noted was the mindset of some of the very high producers there that I had a chance to talk to, okay? And if you can emulate a little bit of their mindset, how much more could that increase your production? How much more money could you make? How much would that change your life? Emulating just a couple of the things that these people that are making millions of dollars a year are doing in the same business that we're doing it, okay? Same expired listing, same for sale by owner, same objections, everything's the same. Doesn't matter what market you're in, most of the stuff is the same, okay? Now I get it, some markets have, you know, higher inventory than others and less agents, more agents, whatever the case may be, but you know, all things aside, the mindset of what they do, okay? So I noted a couple things here, so let's get into that. So three things Thursday this week, three mindset traits of ultra high producers at the Mike Ferry Superstar Retreat that I think all of us could put in our business and it can change a lot, all right? So number one is this. I asked one of the producers there, now this is a lady that's made you know, $50 million in her career in real estate, okay? So she's, she's done okay. She's selling 100 homes a year. And I went up to her and I said, look, you've made tens of millions of dollars, okay? You're selling hundreds of homes a year. You've got this you know, going pretty well, right? You're a finely tuned machine. You seem to have this whole real estate thing figured out. What keeps you coming back? Why take a week off and come to the Superstar Retreat? And she looked at me and she's like, if I don't come here, my production will tank. I need this. I need to be around people that are high energy, that are big thinkers like I am, that are doing big business like I am, because I need the refresher. I need the kick in the butt sometimes. And if I don't expose myself to things like this, I'll get complacent, my business will go down. And I went, wow, that's really amazing. Like, what a great mindset is that to have? You have someone who's made tens of millions of dollars. Think about that. Tens of millions of dollars in gross commission she's earned in her career and she still comes back. She's like, no, I'll get complacent. I need this. I need to be around these people. That is an amazing mindset because we all know agents that as soon as they close three transactions and make $60,000, they got it all figured out, right? They stopped coming to meetings. They stopped going to training. They stopped going to coaching calls. They, they got this figured out. And here are people that are making tens of millions of dollars going, no, I need it. I need to expose myself to these people. So that is just a really powerful mindset to have. So think about that. 
okay? Regardless of what your production is, okay? You're going up in production, going up in production. You gotta stay focused. You gotta stay around big thinkers. You gotta expose yourself to new ideas, okay? So regardless of production, stay focused, stay in that zone, and your production will keep going up. It won't level off or tank. It'll keep going up, okay? So I thought that was really cool. The other interesting thing I asked was, well, not asked, but the other interesting thing I noticed was how approachable they were. I went up to many of these agents. I just walked right up to them. Hey, man, I'm Robert. Century 21 Masters, Neil Schwartz's office. Now, I'm lucky a lot of people know who Neil Schwartz is, okay? But they're just like, oh, hey, Robert, what's going on? How you like the retreat? What's happening? What's this and that? They don't know who I am. And I'm not someone making millions of dollars selling real estate like they are. You know, I mean, I do okay here as a coach and, you know, I'm helping people do that, but they don't know me because they might be in different states and things like that. But here's the thing. They're so approachable, right? They had no problem me coming up to them. They had no problem talking to me, giving me ideas, giving me tips and all these other different things. They're so approachable. And I thought about this. Do you think the fact that they're so approachable is one of the reasons that they generate so much business? Because people feel so comfortable going up and talking to them that their past clients feel so comfortable referring people to them because they know that they're so approachable and they're not gonna be brash or you know, you know, really hard on their friends and referrals and things like that? Absolutely, okay? So you need to think about that. And I talked about this in a previous video as well, is how approachable are you? Because they're very approachable. Doesn't matter who, they know, who you are, if they know you, where you're from, what your business is, they don't care, okay? They're very approachable, willing to help, Willing to pay it forward. One of the guys actually said that. I said, you know, you're so open to share your ideas. And he goes, well, look it. I had to learn from somebody as well. I'm just trying to pay it forward. You know, I'm doing okay. If I can pay it forward and help someone else do okay, that's fine by me. And I'm like, God, that is just a great mindset to have. Okay, you're not selfish, right? You're approachable, you're willing to help people. The more people you help, the more it'll help you. Because here's the other thing too. They're not concerned about you taking their business. Right? That's the mindset they really have there. They don't mind helping you because they're not concerned that you're gonna take any other business. They're not gonna, you're not concerned that you're gonna take their past clients, their COI. They're not concerned about that. You know, this one guy that I talked to, he closes 200 transactions a year. That's a lot of deals, but he only has a 5% market share. So he's not concerned about teaching you business because he's like, I'm closing 200 deals a year, I'm making millions of dollars. I only have a 5% market share, so if I can help you get an extra piece of that 95%, I find with me, it's that mentality, okay, that helps them, that approachability, the willing to help. That's one of the reasons they generate so much business. I just think it's so cool that they're not standoffish because sometimes, again, we know those people that close a few deals and they walk around the hot shots and they don't want to help you. They go in their office, they lock the doors and all these other different things. And But having that approachability, that's one of the reasons, again, their business skyrockets and it's good for such a long period of time. So that was really neat. The other thing that I noticed, which was really interesting, is I'm seeing some of these people that are making millions of dollars and they're closing 100 transactions. Again, they think that they, you would think that they have it all figured out. And I noticed that a lot of them, not all of them, okay, but a lot of them work for franchises. Century 21, Coldwell Banker, Remax, so on and so forth. So it got me thinking, I'm like, you know, they're paying franchise fees. And when they're closing that many transactions, they're paying like hundreds of thousands of dollars in franchise fees a year. Now, you would think for most people, they start making some decent money. They go, well, I'm going on my own, so I get 100% commission. I don't want to pay this anymore. I'm paying too much money. And yet these people are paying hundreds of thousands of dollars. So I asked one of them that. And I asked this lady. And I said, why, you know, I'm just curious. Why do you continue to pay a franchise fee? I mean, again, you seem to have this real estate thing figured out. And she's like, I love the company. She goes, I love my company. I see the value in what they provide. They give me support, they give me encouragement, okay? They help me with transactions, they give me X, X, and X, they take care of me, absolutely. I have no problem paying that franchise fee in every transaction. Totally see the value, wouldn't leave them. Again, the mindset of someone like that who is willing to give up hundreds of thousands of dollars because they see the value, they see the support, they like the system, they know that that helps them grow their business. Okay, and I asked another guy the same thing. I said, you know, what about you? And he goes, you know what? He goes, because of that office, the way they let me do my thing, the way they helped me grow, the way my broker took me from an agent closing 50 transactions a year and supported me in my Mike Ferry coaching and 
pushed me to get to 100, 150, I wouldn't be where I am without them. I don't have a problem paying that franchise fee because I wouldn't even be close enough without them. And again, it's just the mindset of going, you know what? I'm a rock star. I can go anywhere I want. I can start my own business. I can do all these other different things, but you know what? This office gets me. They support me. They help me. I see the value. I see the value in the brand, the company, the office. I got no problem paying it. Because again, in local, you see people that start making a little bit of coin, right? They start making 60, 70, 80 thousand dollars, and all of a sudden they're just, hey, let's talk about my split. I got all these people recruiting me for 100% commission. You know, I don't want to give this up anymore. And yet these people are making millions of dollars going, happy to pay that franchise fee. Okay? Now I know I get it. Their splits might be a little bit different, and they're getting a lot of love from the office, and they should. But still, they're paying this franchise fee, and it, it's just a mindset. It's all a mindset of that, I'm a rock star, but I know I need help, and I'm willing to learn, I'm willing to get better. And again, if we can implement some of that, some of that mindset of willing to learn, willing to get better, willing to be approachable, willing to give out advice, all these other things, willing to keep going to events and expose myself to other big thinkers, if you can emulate a little of that, Think, God, think where that could take your business, right? Because look where it's taking them. Multi-millionaires in real estate, some of the biggest in the world. Think about that. Take some of that and put that in your business. I'm telling you, it makes a big difference. All right? So that's some of the takeaways I had that were not things that Mike said, just people you talk to at the event that are super high producers, been for many years, that's part of their mindset. All right? That's your three things Thursday for the week. Please subscribe to my channel so you get all my videos, usually a couple a week. I hope you have a great week, and I look forward to speaking to you again next week.